Hey everyone, this is Valeria from the R3 product management team. I'm here to talk to you today about the improvements we've made to flow management in Core Enterprise 4.6. And I'm going to discuss um, two major features um, and then I'm going to demo them to you. The first one is the possibility to perform advanced queries on flows. In earlier versions of Corda, you were limited to um, a very small amount of information on the flows that were running and active on your node. Now we give you a lot better visibility for uh, any debugging or troubleshooting or monitoring you might have to do on, on the flows that are happening um, on your node. Um, and this is done in two steps uh, through a couple of new APIs, which I'm going to demonstrate in a few moments. First, you find all the flows that match a certain set of criteria. And then using the IDs you retrieve, you get rich information on individual flows. Uh, this querying interface is available via RPC and of course the node shell. Now, what kind of criteria have we made available? There's an overview on the next slide. Um, you can query for flows that um, are part of a specific code up. You can query flows that um, whose name includes a particular string. Uh, you can query flows that have been running for a certain amount of time. You can query for flows that have a particular state like hospitalized or active or killed. Um, you can even query for unfortunate cases where um, if there has been any problems as part of an upgrade, there is a flow on your node that is not compatible with the, core, the current runtime uh, your core node is running. So, and of course you can combine all of these criteria to get um, fairly specific information on, on a subset of the flows that are running on your node. So one gotcha to be aware of is the fact that flows that are killed, completed or failed, so flows that have these statuses, will not be available to query unless they have been started using a flow client ID. And this is because if we kept information on all flows that run on a node, especially in high throughput use cases, that would lead to a lot of buildup of data in the node's database. So um, for now, we only allow the possibility of querying flows that have been explicitly started with a client ID, which means they're meant to be deduplicated and retrieved later on as part of a developer application. I'm not going to demonstrate the, this because this is also a new feature, but I'm, we have linked this new, uh, a, um, a video explaining this new feature in the, in the description of, of this video. So if you're interested in that, uh, please check it out. The other feature I'm going to demonstrate today is um, the possibility of pausing and retrying flows. So we now want to give uh, operators of nodes uh, more control over flows that are actively running on a node. And this is because in, in earlier versions of Corda, we, for example, did not allow users to explicitly re retry hospitalized flows. So just for context, hospitalized flows are flows that have failed uh, under a specific condition that is uh, expected to be transient. So uh, it's expected to, at some point, go away or be resolved and flows are maintained in um, so-called observation uh, up to the point where the condition is, is deemed resolved. But uh, they, uh, in most cases, they're not retried until you restart the node which of course is an operation that involves downtime and might not be acceptable in production scenarios, for example. Uh, so we give the possibility uh, to users to retry flows that have been hospitalized via RPC without the need for any retry. And we also give the possibility for users to pause individual flows that have been um, found out to be problematic, for example, that keep on being hospitalized or um, that uh, are known to, to, to have problems with, with completion. or um, And paused flows are not retried on node startup. They're sort of quarantined, um, which means that there are, there's no 
memory buildup, for example, if um, a flow has many, many, many problematic hospitalized flows, uh, if, if you know they're not going to succeed even during a retry, um, now you have the possibility of pausing them and making sure they're kept aside when the node um, is restarted. So let's move on to the, to the demo so I can show you these two new features.